the fresco that shows a creature similar to the devilish figure depicted in the Codex Gigas, the Devil's Bible. The demonic creature drawn here is considered to be unique. It cannot be seen anywhere else. Tam zobrazen vlastně boj s nějakými pekelnými příšerami a říká se, že právě ten hrad Houska byl postaven. People say Castle Houska was built to seal this paranormal gateway. There is a fresco which shows the archangel Michael, who is the leader of the heavenly army, battling with the demons. It may be that in the Middle Ages there were unexplainable phenomena. People couldn't understand the things happening around Hoska. Perhaps there might have been natural radiation being emitted from the hole in the ground where the castle now stands. Maybe this could have caused strange mutations that at the time were interpreted as the devil's influence. But I'm not a skeptical person as I enjoy legends and find that there is some grain of truth in all of these types of stories. Fascinating and whatever the cause of those sightings, there have been sightings here through the centuries and Fred Bat, our demonologist, has researched this extensively. Fred, what has been seen in Castle Husker? Well, there's... Uh... It was built for a specific purpose. It wasn't built to live in, that's, that's what we find out. It was a hole in the ground uh, that winged creatures were seen coming out of and people thought the devil was down. It was a bottomless hole. It was a big hole and you couldn't get to the bottom of it. They put people down it to see what was down it. They came up mad with grey hair and, and things like that. But the thing about this castle, it wasn't built like a, somewhere to live. There was no kitchens, there was no water, it wasn't on any trade routes or anything like that. It wasn't built to keep people out, it was built to keep something in. And the chapel that's, that we'll be seeing later was built over the top of this hole, and then the fortification built round it. And in fact, the windows, at one time, they had no floors behind them, so the windows were just for show. So it was built to keep something in. And there are strong religious links as well to it. Obviously, there's the chapel there. There's something involving the Cistercian monks? Yeah, it was built by Cistercian monks. Yeah. They are the ones that started to build the, the chapel. Now, the other day you spoke about something just in passing which fascinated me, something that came from this part of the world, what was then known as Bohemia, and it's the Devil's Bible. Yeah, the Devil's Bible comes from, well, it was, it was in Bohemia. Um, it's the, there's no other book in the world quite like it. It's, uh, it was considered the eighth wonder of the world at one time, and it's, it's known as the Codex Gigas, and to give it its, its pr the proper name, but it's over three foot in length, and it weighs... 165 pounds and it took the skin of 163 donkeys to, to, to make oh, the actual book goodness. Um, and it's uh, the legend is it was um, written by a Benedictine monk in one evening uh, because he'd, he'd upset in one evening in, in one evening uh, and it apparently he sold his soul to the devil and he was able to do it but I think we, if we talk a bit more about that later, there's quite a bit to that. There's, I think uh, you're right. Quite Fred. a good story. Thank you very much, Fred Bat, demonologist, for the time being. Now, we do want to hear from you at home. As you know, you are vital to the most haunted live operation. We have webcams up and running. We want to hear from you. And Julian Clegg is here to tell you how you can get in touch. Thank you, Fred. Thanks, Paul. I told you that uh, 12,000 people have joined the Facebook site uh, in the last few days. Amazing. Uh, 3,000 of you are tweeting via the Twitter site as well. So it's uh, been an extraordinary four days for Most Haunted Live and Interactive. Stay safe messages coming in. This is when you wish the team luck at the beginning of the night. We love these. Uh, Adam and Paul and Lester, good evening to you. Ro Robert Kelly and Kyle in Peterborough. Alex in Lincoln. Katie in Hull. And Stephanie in Sittingbourne in Kent, uh, all watching the show tonight and wishing the team well. And uh, from our Twitter site, uh, stay safe messages from Sarah Cousins, Vicky Booth, Ian Blake and Shireen McCrindle. Uh, and among many others, thank you for all those messages. And from the forum site at MostHauntedLive.net, uh, Pandora77 and Kaylee in Rochdale uh, wish everyone on the Most Haunted Live team uh, good luck tonight and stay safe as well. Now, Karen in Aberdeen has been in touch on the text, says, I think Carl should be careful tonight. I've got a feeling events last night are going to follow him. Uh, be careful team as well. And Josh from Felix Stowe says, good luck to the team. Be careful, Yvette. I feel you will be targeted in tonight's investigation. And from the Facebook site, I've been worried about tonight. Please be careful, team. Best wishes, says Hannah Wilmot in Dudley. And Ava Cabman says, really looking forward to uh, tonight's events. I've got a feeling it's really going to kick off. Finally, Amy Bunting says, I'd like to st say be safe to the team as well, but I think you're playing with fire. I'll still be watching, though, she says. I'm sure you will. Uh, more from Interactive to come a little bit later on. For the moment, Paul, back to you.
Thank you, Julian. Well, we based ourselves for our final night here in Castle Huska, known as the Devil's Gateway. But there are many legends in and around Prague linked to Satan himself. Let's find out a little more. It is unsurprising that there exists legends surrounding Castle Huska and the alleged gateway to hell. The whole of Bohemia, and in particular the area surrounding Prague, has many links with Satan. The city's Faust House is named after Dr. Faustus, the alchemist and magician who legend says was abducted by the devil. It was once home to eccentric English alchemist and alleged witch Edward Kelly, and later an ill-fated student who, like Dr. Faustus, was apparently abducted by the devil himself. Codex Gigas, more commonly known as the Devil's Bible, was written in Bohemia in the 13th century, the world's largest medieval text. It is said that the book was written in a single night by a monk who was to be executed if it wasn't completed. Legend says that the monk sold his soul to the devil in order to complete the book on time and was ultimately spared being put to death. The book, which contains an unnerving rendering of the devil, was stolen from Prague in 1648. The devil went on to make an appearance at one of Prague's monasteries. Legend talks of him preparing food for the monks that was so delicious they soon forgot their heavenly ways and instead reveled in the joys of good food and fine wine. Another story tells of a builder working on the Charles Bridge attempting to trick the devil. But the devil, unsurprisingly, outsmarted the builder and took the life of the builder's wife and unborn child. Further sightings of Lucifer himself have been reported throughout the city's narrow streets and cobbled alleys. But it is here at Castle Hushka that Bohemia's relationship with Lucifer and Hell reached its terrifying conclusion. Here, beasts from the underworld are once said to have wreaked havoc before the gateway to Hell was sealed by the building of the castle. But if we can learn anything from the devil, it is that he is not to be second-guessed. Perhaps he is simply biding his time, waiting patiently before unleashing his wrath on this ancient land once again. Tonight's investigation here in Castle Huska is about to begin. This is Most Haunted Live. Make sure you join us after this break. Hello and welcome back to Most Haunted Live. It's a very cold night here in the Czech Republic and we're in Castle Huska, a place called to local legend and believed widely throughout Czech Republic that is the gateway to hell itself, the doorway to the devil. Now we heard earlier on from our demonologist Fred Bat about people who were lowered down a very deep pit below this castle, the gateway itself. When they were pulled up, many had gone grey with fright, many had been driven mad. Is that possible, we wonder? Well, we spoke to a psychologist, a friend of the show from Manchester University, David Holmes. Here's what he had to say. Whether or not a person can be literally scared to death does depend on a few factors. But I think the basic question that most people want answered is, is it possible? And the answer is, quite unequivocally, yes, it is possible to be scared to the point where your bodily systems will in fact kill you. Fear is a strange combination of physical and mental reactions. Basically, what initiates fear is usually perception. You see, hear, or perceive something in some strange way and that sets off a chain reaction within your body which has been there since time immemorial in order to get you away from that danger or enable you to fight or contest that danger. A very sudden fright causes a mass of adrenaline to rush towards the heart. It's part of your autonomic nervous system sympathetic response to get you out of danger but that rush of adrenaline to the heart can be counterproductive and you could end up basically with the heart over contracting and therefore um, not passing blood as it should and quite simply without that blood you die. So the story that pervades Castle Huska um, is the, that of a prisoner who was actually lowered down into what is thought of as the gateway of hell, this pit. Um, and whilst he was actually down there, he suddenly started to scream and yell. And when he was raised from the pit, 